All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal from phonerbooks.com, and this is the peripheral failure flowchart out of the revised edition of my book, Computer Repair with Diagnostic Flowcharts. And I get a big kick out of this one for two reasons. One, I'd say the most email I've gotten over the years from having all this stuff on my website and draft forms and all sorts of photographic procedures is people thanking me for showing them how to clean a mouse because I have an illustrated page on cleaning an old-fashioned ball mouse. I, well, I'm still using one myself here. And you, having a mouse that doesn't function is just so frustrating. I understand what people are getting at, and they hear all these crazy things, you know, take the ball out, put it in a washing machine, and all this other silly stuff. I mean, I can pretty much clean one out in two minutes with my fingernail. I think I used a steak knife in the example. But really all it's about is getting the lint and the dust and any little hairs and stuff off the rollers inside the mouse. It's not about cleaning the ball. In any case, if you were troubleshooting a peripheral failure, such as a keyboard or a mouse or a printer or a scanner with this flowchart, it works you through a logical uh, procedure which starts with device manager. Does device manager understand that the USB port or the device is even existing? And you work forward whether or not you're using the right cables, whether or not the device is answering properly. And one of my favorite things about this is when you're dealing with most peripherals these days in terms of um, mice and keyboards, they're, they've gotten so incredibly inexpensive that if, if, the, if the mouse port or the uh, keyboard port on your computer fails on the motherboard, as long as you have good USB ports, you can pick up a replacement for $5 once you figure out that that's the case and you've troubleshot and, and see what it is. But going forward, you might look at this and say, daisy-chained. What does daisy-chained mean? I, I don't know what the guy is talking about. Well, the unique thing about this book is as you come down and reading into the chapters, we repeat all of the decision points in the margins. So... In this case, we'll just look at this top one here, Port Problem in Device Manager, and the text says, is the port to which your peripheral is hooked up, present and healthy in Device Manager? You can access Device Manager from a half dozen different ways in most Windows operating systems, etc., etc. So even if you don't know much about computers, the book should be able to help you troubleshoot your problem and move forward with the solution. So I'm Morris Rosenthal for phonerbooks.com, and I hope you either stop by the website and look at some of the draft flowcharts on phonerbooks.com, or check out the book, and we'll talk to you later.